During the opinion of the first CEO, was there competitive bidding? Can you answer that here? Was indeed, was indeed just appointed? No, there was a request that was made to let the... Us be, uh, let us be honest. The bitter spat between Sports Minister and Helen Sambili and Sports Stadium Management assure. Board Chairman Joe Akech is a classic case of the flouting of the State Corporations Act. The Act has been in existence since 1986, but patronage has always characterized key appointments in the public service. Governance analyst Dr. Charles Otieno, however, describes the law as deficient as it gives the minister too much discretion on who should be appointed. The problem is that there is no accountability. The minister can do it without actually being answerable to anyone. The State Corporations Act outlines how parastatal chiefs should be appointed when such positions fall vacant. A parastatal board of directors is required through advertising to source for qualified applicants. After interviews, the board should shortlist three names and forward them to the minister. The minister is then required to pick one of the three nominees for appointment. The truth is that the minister can still influence what the board does because the board is really not independent the way we, we, we seem to think. Transport Minister Chirao Ali Mwakwere is also on the list of ministers who have allegedly flouted the law. He reappointed George Mohoho as the managing director of the Kenya Airports Authority, despite the Parastatos board recommending that his term should not be renewed. The list of culprits also include Cabinet Minister Samuel Pogisio and Najib Balala, who had picked their allies to head key Parastatos. The law is seemingly deficient, and analysts opine that Parliament should be more vigilant. Parliament need to demand for more oversight, they need to demand to, to be given, uh, to, to have more uh, uh, autonomy in terms of deciding whether the minister's decisions were right or not. However, recently the Kenya Port Authority conducted a successful process which led to the appointment of James Mlewa as the managing director to take the place of former MD Abdallah Mwarua. With the constitutional review process in top gear, crucial legislation in public appointments could come in handy as a way of replacing political patronage with meritocracy in the public service. Francis Gashuri for Sunday Live.